This is Chuck Schaefer, and in this video blog post, I'm going to share how big data is delivering some big results for innovative businesses. Businesses understand that better information delivered to more decision makers leads to more and better business decisions. But even such a simple understanding is made complex by at least three factors. First, data is fragmented among siloed data repositories access is limited, and automated data delivery of the right information to the right person at the right time is a rarity. And second, while business intelligence and analytics do exist in many companies, they are generally isolated, narrowly focused, and delivered to a privileged few. Most companies are drowning in data, but starved for information. And third, the transformation of business data into business intelligence is a costly, time-consuming, and technical process. Data is stored across disparate data silos and getting it through the extract, transform, load process and into visualization tools is slow and costly. And these challenges are being exacerbated by the growth and variety of data. Data increasingly no longer resides in nicely formatted relational databases on company servers. Instead, 80% of the world's information is now unstructured and unstructured data is growing 15 times faster than structured data. Fortunately, there is an increasingly turned to solution. The increasing rate of data volumes, velocities, and varieties have defined the concept of big data, and more importantly, a new opportunity to better transform data from its raw form into business intelligence. Big data tools essentially facilitate data search, access, sync, visualization, analytics, and mining. And big data is filling a void by delivering information faster and at a lower cost. Unlike conventional business intelligence or analytics solutions which convert data into a common format for subsequent analysis, big data normally leaves the data in its native form and instead provides flexible search access and sync tools to bring data types together for analysis when needed. This removes much of the data transformation process whereby data is sourced, cleansed, normalized, tagged with metadata, and made compliant with master data management strategy before making data available for analysis, interrogation, or modeling. Big data has effectively emerged as a response to the challenging of accessing and synchronizing more and different types of data across disparate sources in order to achieve holistic views, uncover patterns, detect anomalies, or deliver insights which can solve tough problems. But evolving voluminous and complex data into a valuable information asset isn't easy. In fact, in my experience, I think the critical success factor that challenges most is the ability to evolve big data into little data. Big data becomes most helpful when it is advanced from its raw form into relevant and contextual information that benefits employees in specific decision-making use cases. Little data is the precise and actionable information gleaned from the volumes of unorganized data that impacts measurable results. And to get from big data to little data requires five things. A data-driven culture, data stewards, data governance, a technology platform, and presentation or analysis tools. Beginning with culture, for many organizations, better decision-making requires a cultural shift which expects data-driven, fact-based decisions and does not accept unsupported or gut-feel conclusions. Executive sponsors need to champion an internal emphasis on optimizing business performance through quantitative measurements. Show me the data is the new mandate when executives are being asked to approve decisions or recommendations. The next step is finding the right people, or what are often called the data stewards, to define data governance and implement data management processes. Complex analytics have historically been relegated to statisticians, analysts, PhDs, data scientists, or other highly cerebral thinkers. But these titles are not within the org charts of most companies. And integrating these roles with line of business managers to solve business problems can be a challenge. New technologies and a new breed of data stewards are finding that a mix of technical and business skills, whether from a single person or members of a tightly aligned team, are producing successful results. And interestingly, these analyst or data steward roles may or may not report to IT. In fact, with increasing frequency, 
Analysts are operating in a more decentralized environment closely aligned with departmental or business functions. According to Forrester's James Kobielus, data analytics teams are usually organized by business function or placed directly within a business unit. Corbelis advises that developing, testing, and maintaining analytical data models requires strong domain and business knowledge, a requirement that doesn't easily lend itself to centrally controlled analytics. Technology is clearly required to capitalize on the growing volumes of data inside and outside the company, and while the open source Hadoop solution has become the go-to data engine, a complete platform solution beyond compute and storage is required to apply business rules, enrich data, enforce integrity checks, uphold data governance policies, implement workflow processes, and withstand regulatory or privacy concerns. The last mile is what I call making big data little and is often the biggest challenge. Delivering little data in context with business use cases and delivered to decision makers in a way that insights are easily consumed and acted upon is hard to do. To aid the challenge, Data insights should be tailored for specific roles and included in the applications, devices, and channels where decision makers spend their time and in a way where the insights are aligned or joined with their existing presentation technologies. For example, rather than requiring a separate application for big data presentations, it's far more effective to include big data insights within existing decision support systems or within existing business applications such as CRM, ERP, or HCM apps. Big data has evolved from an interesting concept to a proven capability. And although big data is frequently overhyped, business leaders should set aside their natural skepticism long enough to evaluate how this disruptive technology may aid their tough business problems. When big data is made small and delivered in timely context to users who make that data actionable and make more informed decisions, big data becomes a valuable information asset that can be leveraged with measurable results.